Hey everyone, Eric Stackelbeck here. Today on the newscast, some fascinating biblical archaeology dating back some 3,000 years to the time of King David. You won't want to miss this. Stick around. Hey folks, Eric Stackelbeck here. Welcome to the Watchman Newscast. We've been talking so much recently here about wars and rumors of wars. Iran, Hezbollah, Hamas, Syria, ballistic missiles, nuclear weapons, that I thought today would be a good time for a change of pace and some biblical encouragement. We all need it, right? So when we change pace here at the newscast, as our regular viewers know, we like to shift to biblical archaeology. That's exactly what we are going to do today. Before I get into it, I just want to encourage you to subscribe to the Watchman News channel right here on YouTube and click the notification bell so you get alerts every time a new video is posted. We're bringing you the kind of cutting-edge, timely information that you just aren't hearing in the mainstream media. Let's start with today's story. Biblical archaeology, incredible discovery, announced just a few days ago by Israeli archaeologists in Timna Archaeological Park. Now, this is towards the very southernmost tip of Israel, outside of the city of Eilat, which sits on the Red Sea. I've done some really cool shows from Timna Archaeological Park, a place of stark beauty in the middle of the Negev Desert in Israel, and plenty of biblical history there. Now, this discovery, announced just a few days ago, again, was three pieces of clothing that contained purple dye. You might say, what's the big deal? They found three scraps of someone's garment. It's purple. Who cares? Well, folks, this is very important for a few reasons. Number one, the discovery dates back to the year 1000 BC. That is the very period of the kingdom of King David and also the Edomite kingdom or Edomite kingdom, which the Bible talks about, was also active there in that region to the southernmost point of Israel around that time period, 1000 BC. So there was certainly activity there. Uh, number two, again, hey, Timna Archaeological Park, an amazing place, but this is the middle of the desert. When I was there doing some Watchmen TV shows, folks, it was about, I think, 107 degrees Fahrenheit in the shade. So that gives you an idea. You are really in the desert when you are in the Timna Archaeological Park. But again, a beautiful, amazing place. I loved it. I encourage you to visit. But to find um, such a significant discovery in Timna also is noteworthy in and of itself. But the purple dye, big deal. You say, well, I have purple shirts. The Los Angeles Lakers, purple and gold, who cares? Well, back then, purple was a very big deal, folks, because it was the sign of royalty. King Solomon, King David, in their royal robes, very well probably had purple in them. It was also very costly, a very rare kind of material that you would use in your garments. It had great significance. So this discovery excites me as a biblical history and archaeology buff. It excites Israeli archaeologists very much as well. You probably didn't hear about it in the mainstream media, but that's why we, we do what we do here at The Watchman. You can see the smile on my face today. You know, we're usually talking about some heavy things over the past few months, and Iran always seems to be at the center of it, right? So today is a welcome change of pace. It reminds you that God Almighty is moving today in His land for such a time as this, bringing the Bible to life, providing not only the truth of the Bible, the historical record that the Bible provides, but also the irrefutable archaeological and scientific proof that what the Bible says is true. So we have that yet again with this great discovery at Timna Archaeological Park, and we've got it since we're talking about the period of King David 3,000 years ago. We most certainly have got it at the city of David ancient Jerusalem. Now, regular viewers of the Watchman TV show and the newscast know that the city of David is one of my favorite places in all of Jerusalem, and that is saying something. And Zev Orenstein, the director of international affairs for the city of David, is one of my favorite people. We, uh, a little while ago, probably a year or two ago, I guess, before travel kind of ceased international travel due to COVID-19, we got together. We did a really cool series at the city of David with Zev, the top 10 archaeological discoveries 
at the city of David that prove that the Jewish people, yes, were in Jerusalem 3,000 years ago. Let's go to this clip right now from the city of David, uh, or right outside of the city of David, actually. This was in the shadow of the Western Wall. Zev and I talking about a legendary site or piece of archaeology called the Temple Mount Capstone that played a, played a very significant role in the time of the First and Second Temple. Take a look. Well, Zev, we are right next to the Western Wall of the Temple Mount for our number seven discovery. What do we have here? This is the southwestern capstone of the Temple Mount. This stone is more than 2,000 years old. In the year 70, when the Romans are destroying the temple, the second temple, they cast off stones weighing many, many tons. All this area around us, you could see the destruction of the second temple. This stone is more special than the others because if you look closely at this stone, you could see there's actually Hebrew writing on the stone. Right there. And it says on it in Hebrew, the Beit Hatikiah, to the trumpeter's house. Now, what does that mean? Yeah. We know that on the Sabbath, going back thousands of years, where we're standing right here, this was a, a, a shopping center. You need to get your things up to, uh, to go to the temple, your sacrifices, your offerings, and you would come here. Yeah, the temple's right, right was right us. above us. Right yeah. above us. And so what would happen? The Sabbath, of course, the, the markets are supposed to be closed. So on Friday, Sabbath Eve, you would have a priest standing at the very southwestern corner of the Temple Mount with a trumpet. And shortly before the Sabbath was set to begin, the priest would blow the trumpet and declare, the Sabbath is coming, yeah. time to close your shops, last minute right. purchases, go home and get ready to accept the Sabbath. Time for Shabbat, pack it up. Exactly. Yeah. Now, what's interesting or special for me, not too long ago, I brought two of my children here, my daughter Hodaya, another daughter Eliana, and I asked them, I said, what, is, what does it say on this stone? And they said, Abba, Dad, it says Le Beit Tkia, to the trumpeter's house. Now, I was proud, thank God, my, my daughters can read. But I was even more proud for another reason. And I thought to myself, this stone is more than 2,000 years old. And yet my children, born in Jerusalem, can read the writings on a stone more than 2,000 years old, Hebrew, that my daughters speak the same language, read the same script, worship the same God, have the same customs and festivals and traditions as their ancestors did thousands of years ago. And I thought, how many nations, how many peoples can go back and say that they have all those things in common with their ancestors from so long ago? If you want a sign that the Jewish people have deep roots in Jerusalem, I always think of this stone saying, the fact that we could read the writing and speak the language, this says the reason why we're here is not anti-Semitism, not the Holocaust, not persecution. It's because of discoveries like this one. It's a miracle of the God of Israel, Zev. And I think about uh, these stones that were thrown down from the Temple Mount by the Romans. The Romans probably thought the Jewish people would never return. That's right. Now here we are 2,000 years later and your precious daughters can read this writing and see that this is where their ancestors walked. And guess what? They're back. Thanks again to Zev Orenstein. As always, amazing stuff. Now, two things here, folks. If you want to catch that entire series of the top 10 archaeological discoveries that prove beyond a shadow of a doubt the Jewish people's ancient and ancestral claim to the city of Jerusalem, they were episodes 60 and 61 of the Watchmen TV show. You can simply go to episodes here on our YouTube channel and just scroll down and you will find episode 60 and episode 61 of the Watchmen show featuring Zev in this incredible series we did from the city of David. Also, tomorrow night, Wednesday, February 3rd, and also Friday, February 5th, catch the Watchmen TV show on TBN in our new time slots. Zev will be on this week's show sharing some other a very interesting archaeological finds from the city of David. That's Wednesday night, 11.30 p.m. Eastern Time on TBN. And then again, Friday, 6.30 p.m. Eastern Time on TBN. That's here in the States. If you do not have TBN where you live around the world, simply check it out right here on our YouTube channel and be sure to subscribe while you are there. Hey, folks, thanks so much 
for joining us today for this very special Watchman newscast. I hope it put a smile on your face because it certainly did for me. Until next time, God bless you. And remember, never hold your peace.